Hi friends. Hi friends. So we are in a where are we? We're the in Hilton? the we're in the bar of the Hilton. Yes. Cheers. Um, <laughs> we're in Columbus for the Premier Beauty Show. Yes, we've been here all the last two days. Yeah. Well, I, I live here. She lives here. <laughs> um, but myself and our friend Monica drove down on Saturday afternoon. And then, so we went to the show yesterday mm -hmm. and today. Mm -hmm. And Aaron went to a bunch of classes. What kind I of classes did you go to? I went to six classes because I have to. <laughs> no, also I want to. But I'm required by law. Um, I went to... I can't remember that just from my brain hole. Okay. Well, let me see. of them, though. Color? No. Cutting? Yep. Balayage? I went to a balayage class. Paul Bryant? Paul Bryant class. <laughs> Extensions class? No. Weaves? Arojo. You know, Nick Arojo from What Not mm -hmm. To Wear. Him? Um, the Sweet Life? Was that no, I didn't go to that. No. The Holes and Scrotums class? The Holes and Scrotums? Mm -hmm. Maybe. How did Michael? Um, well, anyway, she went to all the classes. I went to the pulp writing class, um, but because, as everybody knows, I'm a self-taught makeup artist, um, I don't get to go to any classes. We did sneak her into the pulp Riot one by saying she was a student. But I did do some shopping. <laughs> Let's review. Oh. So, okay. Oh, yes. We both did some shopping. Currently, I can't show you my new blow dryer because the phone is sitting on top of it. But you got a new Sam Vila professional blow dryer. Mm -hmm. um, I did... So, I did a few things. Let's cover what I did. So, I met with these people. Mm -hmm. Who keep an eye out for them because they are going to do an affiliate code with us. Oh, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. That um, was news to me. <laughs> so basically, what they do is they um, help you put together a website. Um, they do websites, Instagrams, and they actually build an app for you. And then they will help you maintain it, monitor it. I just am doing the Instagram and the website though to help with my own her personal my business. personal like freelance make a business and my brain doesn't work in a way that would be Nobody good does. to do this stuff on my own so oh also i had a real barber hairdresser man i never met he asked if he could cut my hair and he did what'd you just say that was between me and three thousand people <laughs> what did you say i just said is that a good idea she did say that i was gonna get it. i think it's i was fine. nervous for her it's life. a skin fade though Right? It's just a nice... She can rock it. It's a nice Could skin fade. Can we imagine what kind of a marshmallow on fire I would look like? You would look terrible. I have a lumpy head. Right. Plus, this will grow out in, what, four days? Yeah. It'll look like nothing ever happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just a nice skin fade that the man did. Um, he was actually a very, very nice gentleman. Um, but I don't remember his name. That'll come in an Instagram not, post. But anyway, this company is really nice. And again, we'll do an affiliate link with them soon. Um, things so, I bought from Morphe. Let's talk about... So, Morphe brushes was here at the trade show yeah and and <laughs> the line at 9 a.m was wrapped around and out in an hour away but we came with the purpose to stand in the line and we did and it actually wasn't terrible it wasn't horrible it actually was pretty good so yesterday i bought the vault the jack and hill vault i bought a bunch of brushes i bought a blush palette and a bronzing palette today i went back more and I brought bought the 35T the dope taupe palette um, mainly what I'm trying to do right now is just build up anything and everything for my own I have a good amount of stuff for a kit don't get me wrong it's not like I brand new the game but I need to just reload you are like slimlining it you are you're perfecting it I'm perfecting it I'm just getting everything down so I don't have to take everything with me yes. that I own so I got I a, love these colors oops, I got a very Cool toned, matte, shimmery palette because the Jaclyn Hill. Um, She's gone. There she is. I'm back. Jaclyn Hill Vault has a lot of like the bright colors, the reds, the oranges, all those warm colors, and I think that that's plenty. Um, even though you know all the controversy. But a bride doesn't want that. Like a bride no. doesn't want a hot red idol. I no. mean, they want neutral things. They could, I guess, but right. they aren't. Good. And they already have the thirty. Which one is it? The 34? The one that's like matte. Like everything's matte and neutral tone. I already own that one. When I, I'm looking at your face because of your haircut, it looks like you have a thousand like hairs you need to tweeze. <laughs> Not it's it. just my haircut. It's like she's growing a small beard. <laughs> um, I also have bought the... Who is this person? Bob Dole. Desi Danger. Oh. Do you know that? No, I don't. This is Desi Danger. If you guys know, let us know. We're behind the times. Is he danger? Nope, nobody knows that. It has to be another influencer. I'm sure. Anyway, so I bought her. 
palette. She comes in that box. <laughs> um, it's like a um, highlighter palette. Ooh. It's pretty. I like that middle one. We'll swatch the middle the violet. just to swatch it. So pretty, yeah. Um, because I bought a blush in a matte bronzing palette plus this highlighter palette, so that I'm good on like any contouring that I would need to do on anybody of any race. Right, all skin tones. And yeah, but Aaron right bought there. what else? What did you buy? I bought the Vault collection and a couple of brushes. Um, you bought something else? An eyebrow pencil. I've never used any of their eyebrow pencils. But a lip and a lippy. The lippy is the same color I buy of everything. There. Blush. There is a table of 50 and above ladies staring at us. I don't care. <laughs> um, I also bought the Master Metallics Cream Eyeshadows, which this is one of yeah, them. Yeah, that looks like it's very long lasting. This is one of them that I put on earlier today and they are, like and they dry. And so that one, was this morning. Yeah, one's gold, one is bronze, and one is silver. And and apparently you can use them as a cream eyeshadow, you can use them as a liquid lip, you can use them oh. as like a base. Yeah. If you blow it out fast enough, you can use it as a um, highlighter. Oh. And then I just got some brushes. This brush I already used today. Because what happened was, oh, right. there was is I had my hair cut. And see, all this used to have hair there. <laughs> and then it didn't. <laughs> and then because I had highlighted, it, it looked like you had a bald patch. It looked like I had a bald patch. So I had to go back in with some bronzer and kind of just... Clean it up. Blend so. and blend and blend. But you know, just some basic Murphy brushes. We'll go over a bigger un unboxing once I can nail this dumb idiot to a wall long enough to do something with me. Maybe you will in the future. Could happen. Could um, happen. You never know. My life right now is just up in the air and I'm waiting to see where it's going to land. If you've never been to a hair show, it's like. Let's get real. It's like being in. seeing hairdressers in the wild. And there's a lot of bad things that have happened in the wild. <laughs> a lot of bad hair. Yesterday, a lady said at a Redkin class when a man was finishing a men's cut, the educator, she goes, are you putting a putty in his hair? <laughs> and I had to leave. <laughs> well, some people have said an accent. No, that's not what it was. It was no. a terrifying thing. There are a lot of like... Like overly done do you guys things. Remember like take any trend and blow it up to like a thousand a proportion and it's just of done. insanity. Do you guys remember the the album cover for since for you've been gone? Oh. Oh. Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> a lot of that hair. That, like, and stripes. Blonde, brown, and red. All chunky like chunk this. chunk town. <laughs> now, not saying that I don't do things to the extreme because clearly I do. Right. I have a skin fade. I have a weird pompadour happening. Oh. <laughs> you know, just I do things. But my my trends change with the right. The like times. you're not doing a trend from the year 2000. No, and they just do over and over again. It's bad. And then they look at you like you're the weirdo. Right. Like right now we're getting stared at. Oh, a lot. Because we're talking into a phone. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> right. Also, I can't stop looking that there's a planter's peanut painting. Oh my god, there is. And he's he's very dapper. He's like got his top man. hat like and his cane. And, and it's like a it's a chalk right. drawing. But you do, it is it is like a you just have to go to a hair show and look at it. And and not and not please don't send us hate comments or anything like that. But there is let's just say that there's a drastic difference between a hair show in Chicago versus a hair show in Columbus, Ohio. It's it, there's a difference. It's smaller, so there's not as many of the big, like, bigger artists here. I mean, it's just smaller. Plus, in Ohio, we have to have continuing ed, so they're just like, come on in. <laughs> right. Get your classes done here. Um, but whatever. We, we had fun. No, it's a good show. I'm trying to think if anything crazy there's happened. There's just a lot of cheap chunk. Well, last night we had fun at my house, and Krista almost pooped herself laughing. So that was good. Mm -hmm. And we made Monica, our friend, who's a very, very conservative and angelic, one might say. We had her talking about very inappropriate things having to do with your V-hole. I love Monica, though. Monica's great. Speaking of Monica, we probably have to make this video cut short now because we have abandoned her to oh, get yeah. cocktails while she's doing an she's up doing to class. class. She's okay. She's a strong, independent woman. What we thought she while we had... She has anxieties. She doesn't. But if she knew we were out of the building drinking, she may freak out. So we're going to end this here. Yes. So we will... Okay. To touch back on what we talked about before in the car making more videos oh in our last video this is the last set this is i haven't seen her since we made that last right. video 
we have to figure out when we're going to. We have to do a story time because I have to explain to you what happens in this idiot's life over the past. I mean, my divorce is final this month, uh, for a year. Oh, she's been divorced for a year. For, like, so like Aaron legally. got a divorce. <laughs> right. Not so, on her choice. No. So whiskey and marriage came gay divorce. Mm -hmm. And it's been final. It will be final in like two days. Like and for a year, it will be final. Women are crazy. Yeah. So 18 months ago, my entire life changed. And we'll talk about it. Yeah. But basically what happened was, it was one day, everything was like normal. And how you always saw us. And everything was great. And then the next day, I see Aaron. And it's, my wife doesn't want to be married to me anymore. And you were like, what? Like that. Yeah. Literally like that. And don't let anybody ever tell you anything different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, to the, to, and I know people have gone through this, but, and some people understand this, that to the point where my best friend had to sleep in my bed with me to make sure that I was okay. I did. I had to snuggle her in the night. Multiple my wife times. even had to snuggle her in, in, Not in the night, though. No, not in the night. <laughs> but, like, in general. Like, and I'm not a snuggly person. I, I don't like it. I have seen Erin vulnerable in my life, clearly. We've been best friends for a long time, but I've never seen her. She was broken. She was broken. I've never seen anybody that broken since, like, maybe my old mom when she was going through a divorce for one of the times. And, like, whatever reason for your divorce, no matter what, it's hard. But when you're blindsided, it's extra hard. It was terrible. It was it was the worst. I was I was scared for her, and that's why she would call me, and it would be 3 o'clock in the morning, and I would stay on the phone with her until 7 o'clock in the morning. She would call me and tell me I don't want to be alone at night, and I'd sleep in her bed, and I would stay at her house, and I would, or I would come over and with wet hair one eyebrow on and not even finish getting dressed and I'd be like I gotta go to errands and I would just sit there because that's what you do for your human yeah. and um hopefully I never have to do that for her <laughs> hopefully never um but now she's in such a much better place I think like it's not even when I say she's in a better place it don't sound like she's dead but I say I mean, that I, I, I don't mean like she's in a better place than she was when she was going through the divorce because duh Absolutely. but she's in a better place now than she was before she was even divorced before that we even knew that she was going to be getting a divorce before her. Well, and we'll get into that how life can be more than what you think. I'm just saying she's in a great, great place. Thanks, friend. All right, well, we gotta place. go now. All right, we gotta go find our friend before she does a complete meltdown in the middle of Columbus, Ohio. Without yes, us. that one's not okay. But again, we will figure it out. I'm coming back down here in two weeks um, yep, for, for a Halloween, Halloween party, yeah. so maybe we'll do a short video then of us getting ready or something like a time lapse of us getting ready. Yeah. Um, we'll do some, maybe like a vlog of the Halloween party so you can see everyone's Maybe the costume. day after the Halloween party. So on Sunday morning, we'll sit down and do like a boozy brunch story time. Okay. Sounds good. All right. And then maybe I'll just stay here forever and never leave. Okay. Good. Okay. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.